We're here with Mickey Smith. You, Mickey, you just gave a great keynote. One of the things that impressed me was your ability to understand this audience. And I think that might have to do to some extent to where you came from. Why don't you tell us briefly where you came from? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, I come from a, uh, a forgotten community called Mossville, Louisiana, a small rural community that, that is no more. But uh, I continue to keep it alive, so to speak, with my opportunities to speak to groups such as this. So for me, it was a natural extension because I'm a product of the type of communities that uh, this association serves. And the way you teach is through music. It was wonderful. Why don't you uh, take us through this idea of, of, you know, feeling the music, seeing the music? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, I believe at the end of the day, there's two types of sounds. There's an audible sound that we can hear but there's also an internal significance that can resonate just as strong as any instrument someone plays. And that has the capacity to communicate, to educate, or even to elevate an audience or a group or an individual. So uh, at the end of the day, you know, in my perspective, I believe we're all musicians to some extent. We all have that ability to impact an audience. Well, and you got the audience into the uh, presentation as well as part of an ensemble. <laughs> Yeah. And, you know, for, for me, it's the idea that this particular group, we're not just building infrastructure. We're not just building networks. We're actually bri building bridges into our future and ultimately bri building bridges of freedom, because as we're able to do more, our country becomes better. But no one person can do it alone. No man is an island. No person is an island. And at the end of the day, life's better when we band together. So today, the idea was take your sound and connect it with someone else and watch the benefits that come from community and connectivity, whether it's uh, the communities that we serve or the community that is this organization and the impact they're making on our country. Well, that you said it so well. And the, the idea of instead of having a to-do list, a to-be list. Uh, yeah, 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 absolutely. And, and we're all guilty of it. I've been guilty of it, too. We put what we have to do before we put our being. And at the end of the day, it's no different than many of the degrees or the, the certifications we go through. Your activity, your busyness is a result of the business that you're focusing on. And uh, people's tracks are not the same. Their tracks result are a result of who they are and what they've set their intention to. So I just want to challenge everybody today to set your to-be list and consider who am I in this season and what value can I add? Well, that's a great message, and I really appreciate meeting you and, uh, and the presentation you gave. Thanks so much. Thanks. Thanks.